So the answer is yes. And how would that be different, Tim? <laughs> For me. <laughs> Should... <laughs> Let's get a check of your best local forecast. Good morning, Stevie. <laughs> morning to you, Lisa. We're checking out the AIA Vitality Mini Roos program this morning. This is all about grassroots, getting kids involved in the world game from the age of four years. Now, we've got clubs right around Australia who are part of this program, and the kids can go along, get coaching from some of the club coaches, and it's not just about becoming a football star. It's about getting them out for a healthy, active lifestyle. This is supported by the FFA, and we've got a special guest joining us right after we take a look at the weather right now. Sunny in Cairns, 35. Late showers for Townsville, 35 degrees. Brisbane, a shower of 2 and 28. And some heavier rain on the Gold Coast today, top of 28 also. Sydney, some possible showers. You'll see 25 today. Canberra, mostly sunny, and 27. Melbourne, becoming sunny in 22. Possible late showers for Hobart, 23 degrees. Adelaide, sunny in 29. Perth, a shower or two. Possible storms, 36. Sunny for the Alice, 32. And Darwin, shower or storm. Possible uh, storms about 32 degrees. We've got the CEO of the FFA, David Gallup, joining us this morning. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Mate, Steve. This big win that we've had in the Asian Cup, what is that going to do for football here in the country? Incredible achievement by our boys. I think the whole nation's still buzzing about what they did. Uh, this is the largest area on the planet. It's the biggest football community, uh, and we're the champions. I think it's going to inspire a new generation of kids to get involved in football. Uh, we're seeing them here today, a new introductory program that we've got, the Mini Roos. Uh, good sponsorship with AIA Vitality. We're really excited about the future of the game. And so how important is it for kids, really, just to get this grassroots practice? Yeah, this is an introductory program, so it's for boys and girls. Uh, it teaches them simple skills. We know the game is safe. Uh, it's available to everyone, all shapes and sizes, and uh, this will be their start of their football career, either as players or, obviously, we want them to become fans of the game as well. All right, mate. Well, thank you very much for coming down this morning. The kids having a great time. All about getting out, getting healthy, getting active, having a bit of fun, Carl and Lisa. Hey, does uh, David Gallup know anything about Tim Cahill, where he's going to go overseas? I bet you he's got the inside word. He's on top of things, David uh, well, Gallup. Let, let's, let's ask David. Uh, do you have the inside word on Timmy Cahill, where he's going, what he's doing? He's keeping that pretty uh, close to his chest. Obviously, he's got some options, yeah. um, not only Asia, but also Europe. He's been fantastic for us, uh, 35 years of age, but uh, he got involved with the, the regeneration that we've gone through with Ange Postacoglu, uh, he's helping the youngsters come through. I reckon he's got a few good years left in him. Ooh. OK, there you go. You got it right there, Carl. He's got a few good years left in him. Could we be seeing him back playing for Australia? <laughs> yeah, I think definitely uh, he, he, he's a guy that uh, is committed to the Socceroos, loves playing for them. No reason why he can't keep going. Oof. There you go, Carlos. He can that's write his own that's ticket. saying something without really saying anything um, when you don't know. That's the perfect <laughs> administrator like right there. <laughs> <CEO. laughs> Thanks, Stevie. Coming up, the uh, Miss Amazon contest.